Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And uh, guys, this uh, I want to show you guys something. If you guys got trim, like on a truck, like this truck here, um, your trim sprays and your trim shines and uh, tie shine sprays and stuff, whatever. Uh, I find that when you're doing trim like this type of trim, it's best to apply it by applicator. The trim spray just doesn't hold up on stuff like this. Now, I'm going to show you guys the best type of products to use for this type of trim would be something that you rub on an applicator. The sprays just kind of lay it up there and don't really penetrate down into it. Just put a coating on it, but it's basically just sitting on top of it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to show you what I think is better for stuff like this. All right? So no further ado. Let's jump into it, man, what I'm talking about. And some of you guys, especially on stuff like this, on a little bit of your older stuff, your Cherokees, stuff like that. Some of your Explorers got it. But anyway, you could try spraying it up here. It doesn't work. That spraying stuff just don't, it don't go down into it. Now, I find it's best to use the products like Back to Black, Meguiar's, Anything that you put on an applicator pad and rub it in there. I'm going to show you guys like this. That's the best way to do this type of trim. Because these type of products that you rub in there, it's going to hold up pretty good. Uh, you can put it how thick you want it. But in my case, I think it's best to keep it thin and just keep repeating it. Just keep rubbing it down in there like this. Just like this. Just keep rubbing it in there. Let it sit. Rub it in there. Now that spray stuff on the other hand, spray stuff for trim, trim shines or whatever it is. Uh, the kind of aerosol can where you spray on your trim, that stuff doesn't last, man. That man said because you can't, you can't rub it down in there. See, this stuff is like, this stuff got to work as like a conditioner. You know, you got to go down in that plastic and kind of condition it. And hoping that stuff work down in, into it and kind of penetrate it. That's what you want. And see, you want to almost dry the touch like this. See that? Spraying a whole lot of that stuff on top of trim doesn't do the trick. You want something to kind of rub it down in there like this. So I'm going to rub it down and stay in there like this. You can see, you just want to dry the touch, basically. And you can put on many coats as you like, you know. No, you put on a couple coats, but I'm gonna tell you this thing, the aerosol can, that stuff just don't stay. You know, I don't know if you guys had a lot of experience with it. I have. And um the trim that comes down the aerosol can don't last, man. It just don't last up here. You know, I prefer this. Just wiping it up there just like this. Getting it up there good, working in there. Like I said, this kind of conditions kind of goes down in there, you know, just like this. And there you have it. Now, you y'all can trust me, you won't tell me. I'll be telling you guys some good stuff, man. I'm telling you that trim stuff that come out of the aerosol can that stuff don't work as good, man. It don't work as good because, from what I my experience with it. It shine for the moment. I thought good heavy rains, man. It, it washes all the way. I find that this stuff here stays there through the rain better. Because this stuff is much thicker. And it kind of penetrates down into the trim, the molding and stuff. So you could, you know, the aerosol can stuff, I'm telling you guys, just doesn't work, man. It worked for then. But let it rain. When it rain, that stuff gone. Say bye-bye to it. But you see this stuff here, it's kind of, it, it's going to stay. Even if it dull down some, 
it's still gonna stay up there. You know, look at there. But an aerosol can I find be completely gone out there rain pretty good. So that's just what I seen. My experience, the best way to do trim is use something like Mother's Back to Black, Meguiar's Solution Finish, or something like that that comes out into an applicator. I heard that Solution Finish is pretty good stuff. I'll probably be trying that out sometime pretty soon. Guys, look for that video in the future. Solution Finish. And, uh, yeah, I just want to bring this update video on trims because the... I find that it's best to the kind that apply to an applicator pad like that works the best, better than an aerosol trim, you know, in my opinion, from what my experience will. After it rained, the aerosol can trim is washed away. So I just wanted to update and tell you guys about it. Alright? So guys, I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and your friends. Guys, follow me on Facebook, and I'll keep them keep shining them rise, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. So I good at trim look? It'll stay just like that through heavy rain, man. I'm telling you. Because that mother's held up pretty good through rain, heavy rain. It's still on that bra part I did for you guys. On that Honda Accord. Alright? So guys, see ya.